take two. Uh, what's up, YouTube? This is Andy, Digitech Dad, live from Melbourne. Uh, today I'll be taking my Sony 24mm f1.4 with my A7 Mark III to actually do kind of a bit of a vlogging if you want to call it. We'll be going for a brunch in this uh, cafe or coffee shop at one of these new place. We haven't been there before. I personally never been there before. It's called Lankan Tucker located in Brunswick West which is about 15 minutes from where we live. The weather today is going to be cloudy, potentially rain, so uh, I'm very interested to see how this lens performs in a low light condition because most of the time we'll be indoor enjoying brunch and hopefully it will give you guys a bit of an idea whether this is the lens that you want to get for your particular purposes. <laughs> Just got back from the brunch that we had. It was literally pouring rain today uh, on a Melbourne Cups day. Uh, so obviously people will be indoors. So the restaurant was a bit busy, but obviously we reserved a table. So we had uh, kind of a full space uh, to ourselves, and the food was really good. I have to say, you know, the kids were having some uh, Milo pancake or, or, or rat or something like that, but it was good. Uh, overall, it was great. So overall, uh, as you can see, the quality that I got from this lens is absolutely superb. I cannot complain. The focus is sharp. The bokeh that I get from the back is beautiful. And there, there are a few couple of shots, you know, you can actually see the zoom is not that, that, that uh, perfect. And that's probably because I changed the, the, the focus mode to a flexible spot, which I picked earlier. When I record the video, it was not focusing at the center of the lens, but overall, very happy with it. So I have some of the images open in my Lightroom uh, app here. As you can see, uh, this is a picture of my boy. You can see how nice the bokeh at the back. And while his face is well focused, it's very crisp, very sharp. You know, you can't see any blurriness at the center of his face. And then I took another picture. Uh, which uh, is uh, my other son. Again, look how beautiful is the book at the background and his face is very, very uh, sharp in focus uh, at the center of the image. This is what I'm looking for when I'm, I purchase a lens like this because you want to get the face focused and blurring the background, but you still can see what is happening at the background kind of. This is again a picture of my younger boy. Uh, I put this in black and white because I just thought it looks much better. And again, nice book here at the background. His face is well focused, sharp looking image. Can't complain guys, this, this, this lens is amazing, amazing. And finally again, a picture of him. The background is blurred, he's in his kind of a very ninja style position, very sharp, very sharp. Yeah, uh, I have to say my first impression kind of taking this uh, lens out with my A7 Mark III, beautiful, beautiful shots. And if you have any questions or comment, please, leave them down below like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and until then this is andy digitech that live from melbourne peace